What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Steam Deck in 2025. It is the same process for the LCD and the OLED Steam Deck. This one is the LCD Steam Deck. You're going to need two flash drives. Technically you only need one, but you want a secondary one to back up your BIOS to. And you can do all of this on the Steam Deck. We're going to go ahead and go to power, switch to desktop mode. So while in desktop mode, I'll paste the link to this page, santo.com, which uh, thankfully whoever this is showed us how to do this properly. And I would suggest reading through here if you've never done any type of overclocking. If you're just trying to get straight into it, um, first you want to start off by backing up your BIOS. If you have already back up your BIOS, then you can skip this process. You're just going to go ahead and copy paste this. And I'll have this linked in the description. And then you're going to open up console and then you're going to copy paste enter then you're going to hit your password and now you will start backing up your bios this is when you want your secondary usb it could be any secondary usb all you're going to do is back up your bios to that usb so once it's finished downloading this one's still doing i've, I've done it before um it's going to be go under your home scroll to the bottom it's going to say bios bkp FD and you're just going to copy and paste that to your external flash drive. Um, I have it right here listed as LCD Steam Deck BIOS right there. That's all you need. That's all you need it for. And then you're going to go ahead and get rid of it. Now you're going to need your fresh USB. You're going to plug that thing in there. You're going to make sure that USB is XFAT32, so or VFAT right here, file system VFAT. Just make sure it's that. If not, format it so that it is XFAT. And make sure this is an empty drive. This is the only thing you're going to have in there. And it's because you just want to make it simple as possible to, to find what you're looking for. And what you're going to be looking for is this file right here. I'm going to have this linked in the description as well. This is a download folder for the zip file. It's the toolkit to unlock uh, a Stanto. Um, that's all it is. Um, and then all you're going to do is you're going to extract all of this to your USB. So you're going to go ahead and extract all of this to here. Once you extract all of that, I've already done it. Remember, don't put the zip file in there. Extract everything to that USB. It's going to look like something like this. You're going to get some of these logs after you run it. Um, but the main important thing is this runtime patcher EFI. This is what you're going to need. After that, that's all you need to do. You're going to go ahead and shut down the Steam Deck. After it shuts down, hold down the volume up and then press the power button. You'll hear a chime and then you can let go of all the buttons. And then you should log into your Steam Deck BIOS. Now we're going to go to boot from file. And you should see your USB. And all you're going to do is going to click on Runtime Patcher. Hit Enter. And you're going to run this script. And all this script's going to do is allow you to go to Setup Utilities. Then when you're in here, you can scroll down to the bottom. Go to AMD CVS. And go scroll down to the second to last one, SMU Common Options. And then over here, you'll find all your TDP controls. Uh, you have to set them all to Manual from Auto. And you're going to set to 20,000 uh, if you're doing 20 uh, watt TDP, it's by 1,000. So if you want 10 watts, you're going to do 10,000. I set all of these to 20,000, fast PPT limit to 20,000, slow PPT limit to 20,000. Remember, this is going to heat up your Steam Deck. Also, what I would suggest doing for your TDP is also adjusted in under advanced. And it's the same thing. Go to power control manual fast ppt slow ppt 20,000 i don't necessarily think you need to do it but i just do it anyways just to make sure there's no issues and if you're trying to overclock your cpu you're going to go same things uh, smu common options and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see cc lk fmax override control this is our cpu so if we're going to overclock our cpu anything above but 3500 megahertz so let's do 3800 
and then below it is GFX CLK F Max Override. This is your GPU. Hit manual. Um, your GPU naturally runs at 1500, I believe. We're going to aim for 1800. And just because you put these numbers, d don't mean it's going to hit it. Power draw is the main factor, and also if you, depending on the game title you have, whichever it lacks the most, whether it's CPU or GPU, is going to probably get the most of the overclock. And then that's it. We're going to exit saving changes, and that's that's it. A big takeaway you guys need to know is. If you want to edit anything in your BIOS, you will have to do this exact same step over again by going to the file and then opening up that runtime on the file and then that way you get access. You don't uh, completely unlock it. You'll always have to use the USB. Once we're all logged in, make sure that you have the Decky loader on and have power tools. Don't think you necessarily need power tools, but I would highly suggest to get power tools um, I do find some issues with it not using the wattage you are allowing it to sometimes. And for what I understand or what works for me, and it's not that hard to do. Most of you probably already have the decky loader in there. You're going to take power play limits, override TDP 2930. You're going to hit the governor to performance. And even though it always resets, go ahead and click the persistent profile and then reapply settings and that's it that's pretty much it you also probably want to going to want to get the fan tastic plug-in because you're probably going to want to be running your fan essentially at full tilt just to make sure it doesn't overheat and we'll go ahead and we'll test out a game this is kingdom come deliverance 2 and as you can see our tdp is way up there we're doing about 16 watts currently. We do have lots of scaling on. You'll notice that uh, we are not hitting our GPU or CPU overclocks at all. It the game it's only going to pull what it can handle uh, wattage wise. This one's 16. It should boost to 18, but for whatever reason, mine's sticking at uh, 16. Um, that's something you're gonna have to play around with. You know, it's, it's gonna be a lot of tinkering involved with this. Also, if you're overclocking, guys, you need to think about other cooling options. When you're overclocking, you're putting more heat into the system. The system's gonna run hotter in general. So the cooler you can keep the system, the, l the less negative effects you're gonna have from overclocking. Also, you can see I've kind of cut out the exhaust grill only because there's really no point of it and you want to keep as uh, much airflow as possible on your Steam Deck. You want air to have zero restrictions. That's why this one not only has the, the fan mod hidden underneath here, which is probably not the best. If I took this off, it would probably be better or bump this out a little bit. This is just a prototype case, by the way. And then now we also have our secondary fan here pushing air into the system because as you can see, there's no shroud on this thing. So we need to actively cool the SOC. You might not need that depending on your TDP. You might be able to get away with a vent mod here, thermal pad mod, things like that, and not need an external fan. I like it. It gives me a false sense of confidence. <laughs> yeah, that's how to overclock. I suggest making sure you can keep your Steam Deck as cool as possible. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, this is the same thing as the OLED. Same thing. Same exact thing. Other than that, thanks for watching. Bye.